Shalom from the Galilee. I am Tiffany Pardue, here reunited with Dean Bai. The last time we were together was in Kansas City at the International House of Prayer. We found ourselves at the Aliyah Return Center with Haim. Uh, Haim will be sharing some with us about the significance of this day, Simchat Torah, beautiful, significant day on the Jewish calendar. But everything has changed today. It is an extremely serious time here in Israel. And so, Dean, would you tell us a bit about why our trip has changed and the temperature here in Israel? Well, we need anybody and everybody that committed to fast and pray in the Isaiah 62 fast. We need you and more to continue to pray, be mobilized and mobilize others so that we can connect and align with God we need a hundred million intercessors for Israel. Here we are on a kibbutz, kibbutz Bedzera, mm -hmm. um, right where the modern state of Israel was established, and we're 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 in somewhat of a lockdown. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've had somebody over there right now just checking on us. What what's happening? Uh, we've been filling water bottles. We've been uh, told that people that need to have guns are getting guns. They're opening up the storage uh, where they have the bullets. Yeah. Uh, Don't go near the border of the Jordan, Syria, Syria Lebanon. Syria and, and Jordan, what are they, about 10 minutes away from yeah. here? Uh, so there's this, this concern that what's taking place down in Gaza and the rockets that have come by the thousands already and actually infiltration of yeah. the border fence down there that the expectation or the concern is it could happen here at the north and so we need your prayers i'm blessed to have a son-in-law Haim, who oversees the work here in the prayer valley in the vertical galley house of prayer and uh here at the alley overturned center uh and we are working together to mobilize prayer working mm -hmm. with obviously Mike and yeah. Stuart and Lou, I hope, thank you. I was just on the phone with Lou Engel uh, today and he was talking about, you know, we really need to see this continue and a rallying. He asked me, he said, what's going on in Israel now? Uh, right when this all began, uh, the turmoil here. 50 years ago was the Yom Kippur War. And now we find ourselves in Sukkot, Tabernacles, and on the last day, you know, so there's the seven days of Tabernacles. Tabernacles is actually over. Then there's the eighth day of ceasing, and it like symbolizes eternity, symbolizes new heaven, new earth. After the tabernacle symbolizes the millennial reign of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. And so everyone's supposed to roll, the to restart new beginnings, roll the Torah scroll back from the readings we've been doing in the oldest Bible reading, Jesus. and then dance with the Torah scroll. Normally, there would be so much dancing, so much joy. I mean, circles and circles of, of like dancing the Hora and, and candies, and it, it's so much fun. But honestly, no one's dancing in this country right now. And it is this holy day uh, in the Bible, the eighth day. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, even uh, Le Kahel, the, the, the Kahel, where the king would read the scroll to everybody. So none of this stuff is happening. It's been the, the most amount of, of Jewish people killed in this country since 50 years ago, since the uh, Yom Kippur War. And kidnappings, uh, soldiers killed, I guess it's five soldiers killed, and the numbers keep in increasing of, of reports on how many are kidnapped, how many are injured. And I mean, a thousand right now, a thousand or so injured. And I realize what do we need more than anything? We need prayer. Like you yeah. said, we need intercession. Real. I'm thinking of Jeremiah's, yeah. his tears, he, like a fountain over the slain, right? In this land. And how many people are willing to receive God's heart? Now I'm very blessed that there was that time, 21 days, millions of people were saying, hey, Lord, is was that to end? Was that not to, was that not a way of life maybe? Isn't that what you, well, is that a way Isaiah of life? 62 speaks clearly about those who make mention of yeah. the Lord. It says earlier, uh, for Zion's sake, be not silent. It goes on to say mm. day or night. Mm. I think that's more than just 21 days. Day or night, mm -hmm. night or day, give him mm -hmm. no rest, take no rest until he yeah. establishes Jerusalem and makes it a praise in all the earth. Yeah. We need to mobilize. Yes, and I think Israel needs prayer all the time, that's why God mandated it. There's so much spiritual opposition. And I, I would say, I, we, at representing Israel, I, we covet your prayers. Your intercession uh, and around the world. And I would say 
for those as an option at the altarofprayer.com where for two and a half years mm -hmm. with over 2,000 people, over 100 different nations, day and night, we've been praying for the return and the restoration of the people in the land of Israel. We want to invite you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy that here at the on Prayer Valley, Jordan Valley, just south of the Gal Sea of Galilee, that we're going to be bringing reports, informed reports, so as to be able to know how to best pray and intercede biblically for Israel for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and, and to have the reports coming from people like yourself, mm -hmm. Alan, I'm, and others around mm -hmm. this nation. Uh, well, let me tell you this. I never thought this would happen. No one thought the Yom Kippur War would happen 50 years ago. We were completely surprised, completely caught off guard, yet again, caught off guard. Hey, there's a shaking going to come to the whole world. People got to get ready for this in America, in England, in Canada, in, in ever, We got to get ourselves ready to not be caught off guard. We got to get in that now. I mean, this is, this is prophesied. Really encourage you. We know and are so thankful, as you've said, for the International House of Prayer that has pulled these hubs together. You can go to Isaiah62fast.com still, right? Mm -hmm. Still available. You can see hubs that are there. But this is a time, a fresh new time. There were many who saw the Isaiah 62 fast and didn't engage the full 21 days because they saw it at the end. But as you've said, this isn't the end. The Lord began activating the church in a new way during the Isaiah 62 fast in a profound way. And so this is a time for regardless, if you have this unction, if you feel the Holy Spirit saying, lean in, connect with others, pray. He says where two or more are gathered, right? So, mm -hmm. so thankful for what mm -hmm. you're doing here. Mm -hmm. Again, I came uh, thinking Simchat Torah was what I was last night, you know, and then I woke up this morning to the news that Israel was being attacked mm -hmm. and under fire. And so everything has shifted in a big, big way, but the Lord has prepared his church. He's preparing us to mm -hmm. come together in a new way. And so mm -hmm. I just really honor you and what you have done to establish this territory. I honor you as a pioneer, as a papa who's gone before us and been plowing for these relationships to come together. But for those of us that are joining um, mm -hmm. and it feels like what's going on, I encourage you, as you said, Yes, go to your church, your local church, ask them to get involved, ask them, you know, and and find worthy news sources. I had someone pick me up from where I'm staying and on the way here, his family was texting uh, in a family text string and saying what his cousin was trapped in her kibbutz um, and 50 people were trapped in the dining room and they did, thank God, get rescued. Mm -hmm. They got rescued by the army and 50 people were taken um out of an extremely dangerous situation. Mm -hmm. So the new sources are really important. Community is really important. Agreement um, and praying the word, praying the word of mm -hmm. God, as we've been mm -hmm. saying Amen. on this Simchat Torah, pray God's heart for Israel straight from his word. Amen. Amen.